Yellow. Proper videography. I'm just uh, filming from my hand, which is uh, at least going to make the videography more interesting. You know, all the movement. Anyways, what we have here is a vice and not just any other vice. It's a heirloom vice. Uh, my dad bought it apparently sometime in the 70s or the last century and it's still here. Technically the only thing actually wrong with it is that uh, this uh, handle bar thing, you know, just for actually opening and closing it lost it uh, lost its end cups and um, they were made from plastic you know in the 70s so it's not that there was something wrong with them or that they were like too cheap it's just <laughs> the kind of materials we had like a half a century ago they basically crumbled to dust and um, the shaft itself this stuff is perfectly fine but then uh, i was just thinking like if i have this thing already you know like requiring some repair I'm gonna do a bit more to it to like to make it better so um, basically yeah I want you know like this handle is like a separate project because I want to have like nice end pieces probably from metal I have some ideas but again it's an open project now of the stuff that I definitely want to do I want to debar deber deber you know remove, remove the roughness of the hole here and I want those uh, jaw grips here you know they are like the rust, uh, there's actually not much rust in this thing but these pieces are rusty so when you know like I see the screw heads flat heads obviously you know half a century ago so I want to remove those uh, clean them up uh, probably like handle up them just to make them as nice as possible for me with the stuff that I have. Then the things that I definitely want to do. This has a bit of rust, but it's like a spot rust at the end. Perhaps try to, you know, like while I'm at it, uh, try to remove that and definitely add some like uh, graphite grease to the thread here so it's nicer. And uh, given that, um, you know, to remove those grips, I need to remove the moving jaw anyway. I'll see how it looks inside and you know like uh, make steps from there and generally speaking definitely cleaning like the whole body at least from the outside like degreasing etc etc now yeah another part you know like rust like surface rust so yeah clean that up in terms of the paint job you know there is some paint missing but uh, most of it is where it's supposed to be and in terms of rust you know it's like really little so what i'm trying to say is that i am not immediately planning on completely trying to strip it out of the coating you know i'm saying paint but hey i have no idea i will probably have to like bend this out so yeah i've done it once with uh, well that's the main benefit on living in extremely small space everything is within reach so this little anvil model making stuff it's banana colored it wasn't like that originally so i spent quite some time you know trying to restore this to this state which i actually like because it's not like you know pristine plastic stuff it looks like it's been used but it's in a good condition which i really love and uh, i don't think i was like consciously trying to do that but i've managed so hey uh, why not it's nice i don't really use it much for like anvil stuff but it's a useful paperweight and it's also magnetic so you know i can keep stuff on it now back to the vice itself let's see so i was trying to you know discern what the hell it is who made it and the only marking that i can find is this is pjw i think that's p63 so don't try to parse it in English, this is not an English project, well, the English product or design. It's either Polish or Soviet Polish, you know, stuff like that from... Uh, 63, I mean, if you go by the that era Polish military nomenclature, that would tell you that the design is from the 63, which would make sense if my dad actually bought it in the 70s. So that would make it, well, older than me, but a good two decades. And that's like 40, 61 years old in terms of the design. 
you know, I have no idea who and where manufactured it, but it is a nice thing. And uh, yeah, it weighs about 2.7 kilograms, so like six, seven pounds. I was actually testing that and on that note, uh, you know, given that I'm one handed here, I will just tell you that this piece of, it's actually like cheap paracord, but this is a vice. It's, you know, you can tie stuff with it, uh, not permanently and with variable force. So it is actually a vice and I've used like to make a loop just to wait with this extremely crappy, like chainesium. I think this is like a luggage weight, you know, you have a hook. And it even has like a, it has more units. So yeah, you have the kilograms, pounds. Oh, the, uh, 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 come on, come on back. Gin. If you're Chinese, please tell me what this is, because I have never heard about it. But you know, units of weight measurement, ounces, kilograms. Yeah, I want it in. The European style. You know, we don't count things here in King's fingernails. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And now I'm saying stupid, irrelevant stuff. Why? Because I can. Yay!